This article is about private rooms for personal hygiene. For toilet facilities outside the home, see public toilet. For private toilet room at a residence, see toilet room. For washing facilities outside the home, see public bathing. A bathroom is a room in the home or hotel for personal hygiene activities, generally containing a toilet, a sink, basin, and either a bathtub, a shower, or both. In some countries, the toilet is usually included in the bathroom, whereas other cultures consider this insanitary or impractical, practic impractical and give that fixture a room of its own. The toilet may even be outside of the home in, in the case of pit latrines. It may also be a question of available space in the house, whether the toilet is included in the bathroom or not. Historically, the bathing was also often a collective activity which took place in public baths. In some countries, the sh shared social aspect of cleansing the body is still important, as for example with Sento in Japan and the Turkish bath, also known by other names, throughout the Islamic world. In North American English, the word bathroom may be used to mean any room containing a toilet or even a public toilet, although in the United States this is more commonly called a restroom and in Canada a washroom. Variations in terminology. The term for this place, the term for the place used to clean the body varies around the English speaking world, as does the design of the room itself. A full bathroom is generally understood to contain both a bath or shower, or both, a toilet and a sink. An in-suite bathroom or in-suite shower room is attached to and only accessible from a bedroom. A family bathroom, in British estate agent terminology, is a full bathroom not attached to a bedroom, but with its door opening into a corridor. A Jack and Jill bathroom or connected bathroom is situated between and usually shared between bedrooms. A wet room is a waterproof room usually equipped with a shower. It is designed to eliminate moisture damage and is compatible with underfloor heating systems. In the United States, there is a lack of a single universal definition. This commonly results in discrepancies between advertised and actual number of baths and real estate listings. The first records for the use of baths date as far back as 3000 BC. At this time, water had a strong religious value, being seen as purifying element for both the body and soul, and it was not uncommon for people to be required to cleanse themselves before entering a sacred area. Baths are recorded as a part of village or town life throughout this period, with a split between steam baths in Europe and America and cold baths in Asia. Communal baths were erected in distinctly separate area to the living quarters of the village. Nearly all of the hundreds of houses excavated had their own bathing rooms, generally located on the ground floor. The bath was made of brick, sometimes with surrounding curb to sit on. The water drained away through a hole in the floor, down chutes, pottery pipes in the walls, into the municipal drainage system. Even the fastidious Egyptians rarely had special bathrooms. Throughout the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries, the use of public baths declined gradually in the West and private spaces were favored, thus laying the foundations for the bathroom as it was to become in the 20th century. However, increased urbanization led to the creation of more baths and wash houses in Britain. In Japan, shared bathing in Sento and Onsen still exists, the latter being very popular. Cultural historian Barbara Penner has written of the ambiguous nature of bathrooms as both the most private space and one most connected to the wider outside world.